weather where you are. Here it is raining cats and dogs. That means it's raining a whole lot. So much rain that I can't even go outside and play. But that's okay, right? There's so much to do inside, too. Oh, guess what? Remember my mom had to take my grandma to the hospital? Well, my grandma called me today. She said she's coming home today. I am so excited. If you prayed for her with me, thank you so much. She's doing better and said I can come over later once this rain stops. But in the meantime, there's this puzzle I never got to finish. Do you like puzzles? Yes, we love puzzles. Yay! I love puzzles too. I love how I can only see one piece at a time until the big picture is completed. While I put this awesome puzzle together, let's check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. We're back in the book of Job. When we left Job last week, he was talking to God and going to God with his big feelings. Isn't it comforting to know that we can do that? And when we cry out to God with our big feelings, God not only hears and cares, but God answers. And that's what happens in today's Bible story. God answers Job's cries, but God doesn't answer them in the way we think God might. Remember, Job was going through a pretty rough time and had a lot of really bad stuff happening to him. Remember, he lost his family and everything he had. Job probably wanted to hear God say, everything is gonna be okay. Then take away all the bad stuff in his life. But that's not how God answered Job. In fact, God answered Job by asking some questions. First, God asked Job if he was there when God created the world. But Job wasn't. God asked Job if he can build mountains or control the weather. Of course Job couldn't. God was not being a meanie by asking these questions. God is trying to get Job to see something called the big picture. God wanted Job to remember that God was in charge of everything in the world, things Job didn't know anything about. God was showing Job that there was so much more happening than his own problems. What Job was going through was hard, really hard. He lost everything and was in a lot of pain. Job was doing the right thing by talking to God about this. And God cared so much about Job. But we can't forget that we only see a small piece of a much bigger picture. Because God doesn't. God sees the big picture. So here it is. The puzzle is finished. And this is so different from where it started. We began with small pieces that seemed to make no sense. But when we put it together, it makes one big picture. It makes me think about the Bible story. Job didn't know why bad things were happening, but God helped him see that only God knows everything. Even though we don't, we can trust God will take care of us. Today's big idea is, God sees the big picture. Can you say that with me, friends? God sees the big picture. That also helps me understand what happened with my grandma. I was so sad that my grandma had to go to the hospital. But she needed to go to the hospital so that she could get the medicine she needed to get better. I was so scared and nervous, but God already knew how it would turn out. God saw the whole picture. Thanks for tuning in today and growing with me. Today was such a fun day. And look, the rain has stopped and now we can go to my grandma's house. Catch you next time.